Day two, foggy, beautiful. We just left Orison and we're headed to Roncesvalles. So, uh, great. <laughs> and this morning it seemed like it just kept getting more beautiful. Like as the sun came out and then it kind of hid a little bit, we saw so much livestock along the way as well. I think everyone we woke up with is, is long gone past us. But um, we're working on capturing this so we can share it later. This second day on the Camino was the first day we took advantage of a pack service. Basically, for less than $6, a courier company would take our overnight gear to our next stop. So we only carried camera gear and what we needed for the day. Oh, oh. It was really nice stopping to take breaks and also seeing the cattle in the field and then the horses and the sheep and they all had little bells on them. It made a really beautiful sound. Peter remembered a temple in the Himalayan foothills in India that had the same sound, Divine Mother's Temple. Because it had like, what, like thousands of bells all kind of gently ringing. And it sounded the same as these mountains, the Pyrenees here in France. I think one of the biggest benefits of shooting video while we walk is all well, one, being forced to take breaks, and two, really looking for beauty and really just taking a minute to just really stare at it and absorb how beautiful and how incredible life is. Yeah, and the macro too, just from horizon to horizon right now is, is incredible. So it's now been eight months since Peter and I started walking the Camino and looking at video of us, I love it because we are so happy. We are where we want to be, we are doing what we want to do, and we are together. Now, let me take you eight months before that moment, because I was a wreck. North Texas, we did it. For the last 15 years, this has been my life, at least what most people see of it. Working as a TV anchor and reporter, most recently at NBC5 in Dallas-Fort Worth. It's a job I have worked to perfect for nearly 20 years, and it has been my honor serving in this way. But I've got to give it all up. The job, the lifestyle, where we live, most of our stuff, all of it. The last year and a half have been the hardest yet. Uh, my marriage struggled. I buried a family member who I had loved my whole life. Uh, once my husband and I worked on our marriage, we got pregnant, but then lost the baby. And I allowed a couple people into my life who made me question my worth. And that, for some reason, is the hardest thing to get past. I feel like I pulled a muscle and I just can't seem to get it back. So I'm going to walk. I'm going to walk. My husband and I are quitting our jobs and we're going to walk the Camino de Santiago. It's a 500 mile pilgrimage across Spain to the remains of St. James. We'll basically carry everything on our backs and we have 44 days to do it. And every single day, the only thing that we need to do is focus on one another and focus on our relationship with God. That's it. I've been told that this is a risk, basically putting everything that I have worked toward on hold. But honestly, the biggest risk is not doing it. What? We're in France. And that's Spain. We have just passed Roland's Fountain and have crossed in from from France into Spain. So from here on out, we will be in the Spanish countryside. So this last half mile descending into Roncesvalles, um, it's been a great day. Only 10 miles, but um, yeah, it's just. Uh, lots of shade, beech tree forest, and um, really, really beautiful. Feeling really grateful to be here with my buddy.